Water is life. It is a human right and it should be recognized as such. And yet, not everyone has access to clean, affordable water as they should. We're facing a growing water and climate crisis that disproportionately affects low-income communities and communities of color, many of whom make up the nearly 100 million living in poverty. Water is a social justice and a racial equity issue. Rural farm worker communities are dealing with water pollution due to agricultural runoff. Urban communities are fighting against water shutoffs and lead contamination. Coastal communities have to worry about the next storm and sea level rise. Indigenous communities are protecting their groundwater and land from the constant push to expand oil and gas. But what if this wasn't the case? What if everyone had access to clean and affordable water now and in the future? What if our state and federal water and climate policies built on successful local strategies? What if we use this infrastructure moment to shepherd much needed federal investments into these same underserved communities that don't have access to clean and affordable water? This infrastructure moment is significant. The 2021 Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act invested an additional $43 billion in water infrastructure. This will be distributed over the next five years through existing state revolving funds. Service providers can use this money to build what communities need. They can replace lead service lines, address contaminants, and build green infrastructure. PolicyLink is working with our partners like the Water Equity and Climate Resilience Caucus to ensure this unprecedented federal investment is distributed equitably. This means involving the most impacted communities and working together to shape sustainable policies that will benefit generations. I'm so excited to mobilize around this significant federal investment in water infrastructure through PolicyLink's Infrastructure Justice Campaign. This is our opportunity to address disparities in water access, to make our infrastructure more resilient to the growing impacts of climate change, and to build water democracy. That way, our most affected communities are empowered to lead state and federal policy. Together, we can build a new equitable fabric of our society and ensure that every community has the right infrastructure to truly thrive.